I did not check, because I want to be surprised if this does happen, but allegedly this first match has a cheat that I have never seen before, and just like within the last two weeks I had mentioned how these crazy cheats haven't been around for a while, like it's just aimbot boring stuff. Apparently this is a new crazy innovative cheat that if it ends up being true, I am just going to be completely shocked because it should not be possible. So in this match we have T Baron, the Ash, who's accusing Siege216. I assume this guy's not really going to hold back and it should be fairly obvious from the get-go that he is in fact cheating. Fast forward. So, in case you guys needed like actual evidence that he is cheating, you can see right here his drone flies. So flying drone hacks are still in the game. We've known that. That's That's been a thing. But okay, so he's doing that with Mozzie. Let's fast forward to round four. The accused cheater, or the for sure cheater, Siege216, has picked Flores. And as you can tell, is still flying around with his drone. I am curious what will happen with Flores. Okay, Flores. Show us your magic. Okay. Guys. This is the last thing you see before dying. A Flores drone just flying at you. And it sticks to people, too. It literally... It literally can stick to defenders. So he flies it in. And it just... <laughs> it just fucking sticks next to them. Oh, she impacted it. Smart. Smart play. Impacting it to stop it from blowing you up. Doesn't matter because we're about to get another one flying in there. Oh, did that one not stick? Oh. So it can't fuck up and not stick to the person, it can just stick to the wall. This is like... Actually just mind-blowing that they can do this. <laughs> the Solus tried to save them. I am gonna note though, I am torn whether this is a new cheat or if this is just one of the new buffs of the Varsity Gaming Charm. Everyone knows the charm makes you better at the game, but I don't know if it'll make you this good at the game. If you want to get the charm, all you gotta do is sub to my Twitch channel. I'm trying to wrap my head around it. I can usually understand how cheats can work to a certain degree with my like armchair developer degree, but I genuinely cannot grasp how they make the Flores drone stick to people. Because the Flores drone probably has a thing where it's like, when it jumps and then sticks, it checks if the property is like stickable player an operator should not have that property so it should just go through them that's why currently whenever you have a floor's drone if you you know like set off the charge when it's like jumping towards a person it doesn't stick to them it just goes through them or hits them and then fa falls and then they can run away but somehow he's managed to make it where it actually sticks to the people i feel like it's a little sad sometimes when I look at cheats, and I'm like, this is more innovative than anything we've gotten in Siege in a while. <laughs> like, the fact that they can come up with more creative things than the Ubisoft team sometimes is a little sad. Now, obviously, the creativity they have is very much just unfair. You wouldn't want this in an actual game. But the ideas they can come up with and the things they can break is just fascinating. If you haven't noticed, he also has like zero spread, no recoil, aimbot, wall hacks, everything. He's got the, the whole nine yards. He also had a weird thing when he killed the, uh, uh, who was it? The Solus, I think, where he like almost like rubber banded or teleported. I assume he's going to do this every single round. Oh, kitchen site's got to be tough for this because the drone can just go through the drone hole, yeah. And just stick to whoever. Oh, did they all start bringing impacts? No, it's just T-Baron. T-Baron knows. He's smart, so he keeps impacting it. 
Wait, what just happened there? Can he, like, no clip with the drone? It just teleported. I really want to know if there's a limit, or like a time limit on the drone still, or if he can remove that time limit. Oh, they can withstand because of the rook. Smart. They're doing everything they can to counter these cheats. So it looks like if the player is standing next to a surface, or maybe it's just floors, like he wasn't even standing close to that. Floors can mess up where it sticks. Okay, here's my theory. I imagine what it looks like from Flores' perspective is he has like a target and he can like left click and the drone will just teleport or like fly and then stick to it. And I think he tried to stick it to Lesion but missed so then it went past him up into the corner and stuck to that wall. Which is a little... A little weird that they can pull that off and Siege doesn't have any problem detect- or has a lot of problems detecting it. Someone who's using like no recoil aimbot and stuff. He is still aiming for some reason. Like why not? At th I mean, okay, at this point, if you have these very blame cheats, why are you bothering to try to hide it here by like aiming and stuff? Why not just... Why not hip fire, headshot everyone and just win the round that way? What does he gain from... Pretending like he doesn't have cheats. Because, like, no one's, you know, being tricked by this. Oh, it got muted. Oh, wait. Hold on. It got muted, but it still exploded. That's not normal. So, the floor is drawn. Oh, okay. Interesting. This makes it even weirder. Okay, so. Flores sends the drone in, correct? You can see it flying there. It sticks to mute. And then he starts to run away. But it gets jammed. So it doesn't like really keep up with him, but then it, since he runs out of the radius, it unjams. But then it just gets stuck to nothing in the air and then blows up there. So the mute jammers somewhat protect it, but then I guess once you run out of the radius, it just like activates again, but it's not going to stick to him because it doesn't make sense. So it sticks to nothing and then stays there. Interesting. This will have to be one of those uh, cheats that I like privately send in. So that Siege can hopefully fix it soon. We'll see. No way you can put that through the wall. Okay, he's got everything. This guy's got the whole arsenal of cheats. No clipping. Uh, sticky drones. Aimbot. Hipfire. No spread. Got it all. Again, I don't really understand the purpose here of like trying to pretend like he's not cheating. I don't know what he gains. The jammed there, he's not even gonna be able to do it. How does he lose this though? Like he's gotta let him win. Cause there's still two more rounds. Okay, he got flicked on. Um, I just want to see who wins. Orange team wins, right? Yes. Okay, I'll try and find their real name so I can submit that too. Oh, I think it was this one. The one match didn't have it open on. They went three and six. Maybe the 25th. Why did they both not have R6 tracker open just for that one match? 
Okay, something must have happened with that one match file because three people now have had R6 Tracker open for majority of the day and just this one match does not show up. There's no way that's a coincidence that all three of them only had R6 Tracker closed for this match. Well, so I guess we can't find out their name. I'm, it doesn't really matter. I can send it in. You know, Ubisoft can do what they want with it, but that is an insane sheet. Never would have even... Never in a million years would it have crossed my mind to make a Flora's drone that could stick to people. First, or second match we're going to go to, after that Flora's drone one, is this Oregon one. In this match, we have R6 Radar Man, who's accusing Lasak Ados. 2503. I don't think this guy's a cheater. I think he just watched my Yana video. Now he knows how to rush his Yana. And that's just kidding. He might be cheating because he sprinted right towards the corner, knowing that it'd be free after he just saw someone there. Personally, if that were me, I'd be like, oh, someone's holding the corner. And now he knows someone's holding white, even though Vigil shot him from the right. You still know someone's here. Now you'd be able to hear them as they run up the stairs. Wait. Oh, I just realized this is round four. The the person must have like disconnected and then sent us the second half of the match, so it only shows from round four on. But I, I, I think we can already tell this guy's cheating. And now he's walking around all bot like. I wonder if he's with that sledge. Because instead of like doing anything now, he's walking around like a bot. And it looks like the sledge is just doing everything for him. Just kidding, except for that. He's definitely cheating. Let's see what they end up doing. Oh, just sitting here, staring at them. That's That's nice. Like, now he walks around like a bot, but before he was playing super aggressively and knew where they were. They, okay, they're definitely, yeah, they're queued with the sledge because they're trying to tell him, they're like, oh, he's in the room. And then setting sledge in to do the dirty work. He knows he's on the right. He was even aiming at him crouch level. Now he's gonna be ready for him in the hallway. Oh, just kidding. He's gonna run away to bait out the shots. All right. He's definitely cheating. I think that is more than enough proof. He literally just watched him through the wall. Because like, he's not at all concerned that he'd go through dining or anything. He's like, no, he's right here. Alright, Doc. Probably should have landed those shots, but that's okay. Uh, definitely cheating. Let's look up their name if we can find it. They're all storm mode names. Well, can't find their... Oh, I, I guess we might as well look if this is actually their name. It already says no match is found. It is not them, okay. No idea what the real name is. They're definitely cheating. Next match is Skyscraper. In our third match, we have Warren or Fornaro accusing Baps dot dot. Yeah, this guy is, he seems a little lost so far. He spent the prep phase putting down three jammers and running around in circles. Still doesn't know where to put down the last few jammers. He got he got accused of cheating. I also just want to point out um, this site setup from Orange Team. I think we might be in a low rank lobby, which means that we might have a low rank cheater if he is cheating. Echo is hitting Clash. 
while Clash is trying to deal with uh, Amaru. We're definitely in a low rank. Also, that's mute, but we can't. Or not mute, sorry. Uh, well, my. But we can't see his outline for some reason. Someone's finally coming up the stairs. He is lagging? Choppy like a motherfucker. Oh, we can't see Clash's outline either. Only the shield. That was a good reaction shot. Surprising, given what we've seen so far, how he moves and aims. I wouldn't have expected him to win that, but... Hey, everyone has their day. I feel like Doku probably should have killed them. But SMG 11, you know. It's also like, it's so choppy, I can't tell if this is them or if it's the person who submitted it and it makes it hard to know if it's like they're choppy because some cheats, sometimes cheats can cause some choppiness. If it's like doing something that the server's not expecting or if it's just, you know, a bad PC. This guy is not cheating. It's also round one. Should never draw conclusions on round one. So far, I don't suspect much. I'll say, it, it does seem like his aim constantly shifts from, like, being copper to almost being, like, I don't know, gold. Sometimes he's, like, looking at the ground, looking around, and then all of a sudden he just, like, looks at someone and just quick leans and pre-fires them. Not pre-fires, but fast react. I'm just, I'm trying to get a gauge of, like, how they're playing, and also, like, why they're doing stuff like this. Like, site's already set up. I mean, I guess they still should put down their jammers, but, like, we're 15 seconds into the action phase, and he still is trying to figure out what to do with his jammers. Like, it's been a minute. You should know. He definitely doesn't have walls anyways. I mean, again, we don't know that. You guys sound like my, my TikTok comments where just are just like, no, this guy can't possibly be cheating because of one round. Like, it's impossible. If he was cheating, he would just be spin-botting. It's like, cheaters come in all shapes and sizes. Like, some of them are super, super good at hiding it. Some of them are pretty bad players anyways, and it almost doesn't look like they're cheating, but they are. And like, I get it, because majority of the people who are always just like, no, they're not cheating instantly. Like, you know, when, when you're in copper, you're not going to face good cheaters, but when you face good cheaters all the time like me, it's really annoying, because it's like, well, they're probably cheating, but they're really, really good at hiding it. So for my biggest issue with him is that it just always seems like he seems lost until he's about to fight someone and then it's like almost something kicks in, you know? But I feel like if he is genuinely this lost, how come as soon as someone's about to peek he gets ready and like quick leans and shoots at them before he even notices they're there? I, I don't know. I feel like there should be some more consistency. And there's this choppiness, it's so annoying. I don't know if it's the submitter or mute. Like, I'm not... I'm not saying, like, the SMG-11 is impossible to control, but I feel like someone who is walking around and moving like this guy should not be controlling it as well as he is. 
And I get it, some people are aim demons, but they suck at movement, but like... He looks so lost and confused, like a little baby sheep. But then he gets into these gunfights and he just mows down the enemy. But then he also gets choppy a lot, so it's hard to tell exactly how he's mowing them down. Like, that was not great recoil control, but this next one, the stairs, I feel like is a lot better. Even then, it's like a very slow reaction. Alright, it's hard. I can't even tell if it's good or not because he completely whiffed, but it got a headshot. So, like, is that ping? I don't know. And maybe that's why he's choppy, is because maybe he's lagging really hard. And then that recoil control there was really good. Like, the SMG 11 barely moved. It's not amazing, but compared to before, he also just hip fired that guy. I just. There's no consistency. He's 5 and 2. Again, he doesn't look like someone who should be 5 and 2. He looks like someone who should be more like maybe maybe 2 and 2 at most. There's no way this bot would know someone's in Dragon when he watched at the window the whole round. I mean, his teammate had just died in Dragon. He had a teammate in Dragon who got downed and then the person threw a flashbang at them and then ran up and knifed them or shot them from like a foot away. So it's not impossible for him to know. My biggest thing is, like I mentioned in the last round, is like, look, so he's spending the entire prep phase putting down mute jammers, and then he'll probably spend another, like, 30 seconds into the action phase rearranging them. Like, he does this every round. He's completely lost. And I feel like he should know more what to do if he is, you know, as good as his aim. We are now like a whole minute into the round and he's still setting up site. Oh god, we're gonna get SMG 11 sound bugs the entire time, aren't we? That's a typical Clash player right there. Put their shield away when the person behind them is not holding the angle, and then you guys can both die. Seems lost. Not really sure what to do. The enemy team. I'll be honest. They they are losing gunfights that they should probably be winning. Cause like this guy is not that good. So I assume they go up 0 to 3, and then uh, they obviously will win, because it's a 6 round match, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. He seems genuinely bad, but the enemy team seems bad too. So like, it could just be bad player lobby, and that's why he has 6 kills. But I feel like, again, based off what I'm watching, it doesn't feel like he should be 6-2. and two. I can look up the ranks after. Because if it's overall a low-level lobby, then I would just say that's why he's 6-2. and two. But his recoil control seems a lot better. I haven't... Well, I haven't seen anyone else's recoil control, but it, like... For how his movement is, his recoil control seems too good. I've mentioned that before, but it bears repeating.
It's interesting to see that on attack, he actually uses intel. On defense, I don't think he ever hopped on cameras once. So... He uses intel, but like... Doesn't use it well. It's a smurf. So it's even harder to tell about smurfs now because with the new rank 2.0 system, smurfing should be near impossible. Because I believe before you reach level 50, the game uses your casual KD and win loss to determine how good you are. So you should face champ lobbies right away. Now, whether that happens or not, I don't know. I haven't tested it, but that is theoretically what should happen. You know someone dropped in kitchen. He's so stuttery. Check. Also, thanks for sub una persona. Like, why is he... He was checking a window that's outside. And the Malusi just dropped right next to him. He didn't realize that. But somehow, he is 6 and 3. He could be a higher rank with friends that are coppers. But, like, with how that Malusi just dropped right next to him, he didn't even react. I don't think he's a high-level player. One thing that a lot of people, when they're looking out for cheaters, one thing you look out for is, does their movement match their aim? His movement is that of like a silver player at best but then his aim is like emerald plus so why why are they so disassociated i haven't found any proof of cheating but it just doesn't feel right i'll, I'll say what priest and evan always say it feels weird not saying they're cheating i'm just saying this doesn't feel Right. And then, I mentioned before, like, some people are aim demons. One example is Peter. When he first started playing Siege, he was like a... I don't know what the ranks are in Counter-Strike, like, global pedophile or something in Counter-Strike. He was, like, the max rank. But then, when he came to Siege, like, he had really good aim. If it was in a gunfight, he'd win the gunfight every time. But his movement and his, like, game sense was so terrible that people would sneak up on him and kill him or whatever. And there's nothing he could do because he just didn't know the map. He didn't know where to go, what to do. Like, this could be that. The guy knows how to aim but doesn't know how to do anything else. One, one consistency I've found is he does drone very similar to how he sits on defense. I don't know if you guys know that's so on defense. He'd like constantly walk into a corner, walk into another corner, walk into another corner, and just like keep doing that over and over and over again. And there he did the same thing with the drone. He was like in one room and he just kept making the drone jump in the same room, looking at the same thing over and over again. He also just started trying to floor bang that guy, but... Audio? Maybe? So choppy. No, he can shoot it. Do they not have the diffuser? Will this have the diffuser? Well, this definitely has the diffuser. The fact that they're not chasing Malusi is a good sign. It means that they think that they're in sight for some reason. Like, you can tell their game sense is terrible because they're like, it's 10 seconds left. Diffuser's clearly over where Malusi is. Somewhere. Right there. And for some reason, the Twitch is looking around in sight. So, I would guess probably a, um, like, player who played a lot of other FPSs but doesn't really understand Siege movement. Painful to watch, feel like I'm going to get motion sickness. I, I get that. 
He doesn't seem great. He also has cooled off. Now, still sitting at 6 kills. Had 6 kills at the end of round 3. So 2 rounds with 0 kills. I think they're fine. I'm going to watch to the end just to make sure. Because like, we're already here in the last round. We might as well. But I'm guessing not cheating. Definitely feels like a weird match. Feels weird that they are doing know, all these like move or aim mechanics while being terrible at movement. But like I said, could just be someone coming from like CSGO or something into Siege. They move so aimlessly. Yeah, that's what I've mentioned. Is like they don't like look at this. They're just walking around. They don't know what they're doing. But when they're in a gunfight, they know what they're doing. What is he doing? He cannot make up his mind. It's so choppy. It's gotta be this person, not the host at this point. Is do they feel confident to push after just droning all of that out? Not really. that like flick they did they shot ward and killed him and then like flicked was it like 180 degrees or something oh warden's fucking taken off like a ballerina so graceful uh yeah i don't know what they did they like did some weird flick which again makes it seem like their aim does not connect with their body. But otherwise seems fine. And like he keeps checking, he did this in the last round too, he keeps checking inside of sight even though his team has control of sight. Um, I wouldn't say smurf though because, okay. If he was a smurf he would know all this. He seems like he doesn't know much of that. He also has a lot of cosmetics, which makes me feel like he's played Siege longer than we would have guessed. Like, if I were guessing this, I'd say this is a brand new player who has played a lot of other FPSs but not Siege. But the fact that he has so many cosmetics is like, no, he's got to have played Siege for a while. But he just doesn't seem that good. Ow, it's weird. We'll see. We'll see their stats, see if that says anything at all. Probably not. Uh, gold player... Level 93, so overall new account, or new-ish account, has played 127 matches this season, and never played before, so I think they're fine. It's hard to tell, like, honestly, with their aim, they could have been a lot better uh, than what we are seeing. It's hard to tell when it's so choppy, because it looks way worse when it's choppy, but I think it was fine. It just seemed like their aim was better than their movement, that's my guess. I would say not cheating. In this match, we have Biebs, Justin Bieber? Who's accusing missionary? They're Russian. Kind of? They got two pings. What are these barricades? Guys, we might be in like silver lobby or something. They're, they barricaded everything! Oh, I hate when it does this. Is there any way to fix it? When they pull out a goo, it makes your gun disappear. It's been a bug in match replay for a long time, but it was never really an issue because 
Sledge, or not Sledge, sorry, Lesion was never chosen, so I never had to worry about this. There we go, that fixes it, using the gadget. But now that Lesion's actually not a throw pick, it does affect it once in a while. What are they doing? <laughs> what are they? They used a gone six on that? Oh my god. They used a frag, a gone six, just to eventually walk in through the trophy door anyways. I'm at a loss for words. They were already aimed at the thorn crouched level. I'm unsure if they would have got a call out for that or something though. A little suspicious of them. I think they might be cheating. Just because, like, that thorn kill, they were already aimed at their head level from a distance. You try to aim, I think, a bit higher, I feel like. And then with the mozzie, they were kind of ready and threw the nade into the corner, even though mozzie could have been anywhere in that room. I don't know. I think he has walls. But it is early. We will watch a few more rounds and see. How did he know he was going to die to that? Yeah, because like he, he threw the frag and then just like did a fade away. It's like... Oh. Is he... So, he runs in here. He's not at all concerned that someone could be holding that mirror. Which, by the way, the mirror is still up. It's just bugged out and doesn't show it. But he just runs right in. He's not concerned about like any of these corners or pillar or even here. He's just like, yeah, I'm just going to take sight. You know, it could be a rush, but no, he's definitely walling. He also just like looked at that mute through the wall. I know his mirrors in here, free fire head level. Yeah, he's walling. Yeah, he's walling off his tits. First round, I like if he had stayed the same as first round, I would have been like, oh, it's like 50-50, you know, but now he's just made it so obvious. I bet he's probably gonna try not to get these last two kills to make it less obvious. Gonna name himself. Just kidding. He's definitely cheating. Let's see. What is their real name? Uh, missionary. Their real name is Her Eakin. I'm pretty sure this person has been accused before, haven't they? I swear I've seen this exact same name before. They've been probably cheating for two seasons now. Oh, not banned. I swear I've seen her Eakin's name before. Could be... Maybe there was another similar one, I don't know. From a video before? Like one of my videos, right? I swear I saw them before. Granted, keep in mind, they could have got their original account banned, changed the name, and then changed a new account to that same name. It happens. 26th, we're on Villa. What is it? In this match, we have Liver, who's accusing Sarlum J. But on this team, we have Clash Main, Clash Main, Clash Main, Clash Main. Love that. But they are accusing the Jaeger. When's the next LEGO video coming out? Bro, I have I have been very, I'll be honest, lazy with the LEGO channel. For, I feel like, good reason. I've been just very busy. Like, my average schedule now is yesterday for like four hours, I did all the TikToks and thumbnails for the rest of the week and edited videos. And then now I'm going to edit the, yeah, he's cheating, the TikTok tips that I upload daily as well. And then I'm going to have a few days where I'm not going to really be able to work much. So I just, I haven't really had time for making Lego videos, which is unfortunate. Because they, they were fun and they were relaxing. But I also think trying to turn it into a channel has made me enjoy it less. When we live in an age where everyone's hobby becomes their job, it makes it less enjoyable. 
I'll either get back into it eventually or give it up. Who knows? I know that we know that they're cheating, but I just want to see at what level they are. If it's just walls or that. I think they have something else, like some type of aimbot, because they kept only shooting two bullets instead of like, if normally someone's walling, they'll just like t turn a corner and spray. He just kept doing one, two on the head, and that's it. This is also standard, by the way. Cheating in standard seems a little desperate. They only got seven kills while blatantly cheating. Three of them were in the first round, and then there were five rounds since then, which means that they averaged 0.8 KD over five rounds. Well, not KD, but 0.8 kills per round over five rounds. That is crazy. Oh my god, he's spin botting. I should have known Clash main would cheat. I assume this round, in order to win, he will not care at all. Oh my god, I was right. I don't exactly say it's aimbot, more like a macro that fires up two to three bullets at a time. But it would need to be aimbot in order for him to hit the head perfectly each time, unless his normal aim is just that good and with the lineup he can just get a headshot. I'm pretty sure he has some type of aimbot. There's also been a lot of changes to cheats for that type of stuff, like one very common thing now is, I call it aim assist, other people call it soft aim, where it's like, if you're aiming at least somewhat close to the person, the bullet will automatically go towards them. So you could like, if this is a person, you could aim right here and it would hit them. It's called soft aim. It's basically aimbot. It's just not as obvious because people don't want it to be like, oh, just hit the head every single time. So that's super obvious. They want it to be more subtle than that. You're telling me, the beginning of the round, he shamelessly shoots someone through the floor using cheats, but then for the rest of the round doesn't want to do it, so then he just dies to a, a cap can. That is crazy. That's a bad cheater. Because like even at that point, is it, is it even about trying to hide it? Because like you've been so obvious that it's like everyone knows that you're cheating. So what's the point of only getting one kill and then moving on? I guess that way you won't get detected earlier if your stats aren't too high, but Siege doesn't even have stat banning. They removed that, so... He already got banned anyways. I don't really know why they were not just blatantly killing everyone. I don't know. Okay, last match. Um, in this match we have Echo.Psycho, who is accusing someone who is not in this match. Did they submit the wrong match? Let me see. They did. They said this was Chalet. This is not Chalet. This is Cafe. It's close, but it's not the same. Uh, do I just do another match? Alright, this is the backup match that I downloaded. Watch it probably be obvious. It probably is going to take, or it probably would take longer to load the match in than it is going to be to determine whether it's a cheat or not. But we're going to try it anyways. In this match we have Kalth, who's accusing Escantiamolo. Just hit Ash. That is not reinforced. Guys, I think he might be cheating. He missed every single bullet! Okay, that one he hit. He 
thinks this is sight. He's trying to plant. So I think this is a cheater who doesn't know the map at all. Just Cav should watch my TikTok tips. They would learn that you can silence step to avoid the uh, things. No way this works. Oh my god, it's working. It's not working. How much you guys want to bet? If I'm not mistaken, this match is standard, right? No, it's ranked. Um, I was going to say this guy's under level 50, but I guess we can't say that. I'm going to say less than level 100, because he is terrible. We'll swap sides, see how they are on defense. I have 7 kills, by the way. Thinks he's class. Well, they're gonna go cab with the cyber truck scope. Ew. No one even spawned over there. All five of them spawned over there. Why do you spend so long on the camera if you would know that where they spawned? Play more. Or just die. I don't think they actually put down a claymore. No, they didn't. Yeah. How can people be so bad? At the game in ranked, not knowing anything about the map or having any game sense. If we're talking in a broad sense, you gotta remember that the majority of gamers aren't, like, sweaty by any means. They are your average, like, 9 to 5 workers who just want to come home and play a video game. They are not people who are spending time learning the maps or learning strats. Or even watching creators for the most part. They just play the game. Or, like, they'll watch creators, but they don't use it to learn. They just watch to have fun. I think this is one of them. He's a bad cheater. He doesn't know the game. If I was so bad that I couldn't even do well with cheats, I'd just play a different game. But you gotta keep in mind, like, this guy... If he's playing like this with cheats, how do you think he was playing without cheats? He probably was so much worse. Like, he probably couldn't get a single kill in a game, and now he's like, man, I can get seven kills? I'm so good. I was just looking at him. That was actually a surprisingly nice flick from him. Also, I just realized that they do in fact win the game because they lose this round, somehow. But they have to win the next round. How do they lose this round? It's a 3v1. The cheater's still up. Bro, they're slow peeking him while they're outside detected. Oh my god. So he ends the match at least 10 and 3, probably more. This guy's got to be like level 51 or something. He ends the match 12 and, th and 3. Let's see what his level is. Did I spell it wrong? S can. T A M LO. Alright, he changed his name. Let's see if R6 tab has him. He changed his name for sure, because uh, otherwise R6 tab, it like automatically changes I's to L's, L's to I or whatever to check, but even when you change the I to an L, it still doesn't find him. Nothing. Can't find his level, but trash cheater. So to recap, what did we have? 
Uh, two cheaters at the beginning. Missionary was cheating. Serlum was cheating. Escantialamolo, Esc whatever, was cheating. Uh, the only one who wasn't was Baps. But we did have that crazy Flores cheat at the beginning. I, I'm, I kind of... Okay, I'm on the fence. Having crazy cheats in the game is really funny for content, and I would like to have it, but I also know it's really bad for the game because it makes the game look terrible. But I feel like maybe even just the average person, if someone on the enemy team is doing a funny cheat, it makes the game at least somewhat more tolerable than if they're just walking around aimbotting or trying to hide their cheats. I would rather face someone who's going to make a cheat do something crazy rather than someone who's just going to walk around and wall the entire time because that's just boring. Maybe it's just me.